You know, the early 80s brought us a new wave of mostly British, mostly synthesizer bands, and this genre of music was aptly titled New Wave. It included bands like Modern English and Icicle Works, Squeeze, Bow Wow Wow, and of course, appropriately, Split Ends. Great. Are we having the best time or what? Yeah, but I... Really I great time. Oh, you got... This is the new jacket he got. This is very nice, isn't it? Why did I want to do this MTV Looks plain, reunion weekend? But it's, it's because silk, I isn't wanted it? to get back with my friends from MTV. Because I wanted to see all of you again. What no, would, I wanted to come to it, New York it, and it, buy clothes. Yes, and you also wanted to show off your new hairdo, which is appropriate because we're talking about those those haircut, haircut bands. bands. Yeah, remember them? All those haircut bands. In fact, you you still play an awful lot of them because Mark does some part time disc jockey work at K Rock, K -Rock in yeah. L A. That's right. It's the place it's, to be. It's, we call it postmodern music now. All right, just like the Liverpool, <laughs> like Liverpool's Haircut 100. Remember Nick Hayward, very talented kid. Yes. I remember when he came to the squeaky clean, squeaky clean kid. He came in, he had a squeaky clean image, but then he took out a pipe. He must have been like 19 years old. He's smoking his pipe. Anyway, here's Haircut 100's Love Plus uh, One. Well, okay, it's been good working with you again. You know, see, that's the, that's the funny thing about this reunion weekend. We we all come back. And, and we're, we're on the air, we're spending a lot of time on the air, but we really didn't work together like this all That's that true. much. That's true. Very, very rare I'm, that it I'm happens. I'm going to tell you something about him, because he was always so, like, a student together, you know? And on my very, very last show, oh, Mark Goodman shed a few mm. tears. He really did. I, if you guys have to find that piece and show that. Remember that, Warren? Yes, he shed a few tears. Nina couldn't even come out. She was so emotionally wrecked. And I remember Martha just holding on to me tightly, and then uh, and Alan being silly, as usual. But Mark came out, and he was always like normally so together. And I looked over, and his big tear was coming out of his eye. So we are really... Oh, yeah, oh. big teddy bear, you. Yeah, big <laughs> fuzzy bear. That's me. Don't I look like a... Look, don't get it. Look at this. Fuzzy bear, right? <laughs> anyway, we're, uh, <laughs> we're out of here. Want to be sex god, but no, get no letters that say dear fuzzy, fuzzy bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> MTV's reunion weekend does continue with Alan Hunter and MCQ, but right now we're going to leave you with MTV Video Music Award winner for a video of the year from 1985. Great and the one. man is still relevant and incredible and everything today. One of the best talents we've got. Important. Don Henley with the Boys of Summer. <laughs> Ah, good morning to you, America. Why might they be up so early? Just for this little reunion thing we're doing here? Well, I know why I'm up early. Because I woke up this morning and I started I crying, saying that I think I'm being paralyzed. Ah, that's another strange... Martha Quinn tale here that could <laughs> last for years. You got a little problem with your wrist there? I hope the orthopedic surgeon take care of it. I know what will take care of it. An M&M. Surgeon? Yeah, surgeon. I think you're going to need surgery. Like a surgeon. In the meantime, keep singing. We got Prince coming up. Cut keep singing. We got Pat Benatar. We got some sting. We got The Firm. Right now, though, it's... Like a surgeon. Madonna. Ow! It's Shoe Talk. Welcome to Shoe Talk. <laughs> We're going to talk shoes today. Okay, where'd you get your shoes? Hey, I, uh, I'm using the dressing room while I'm here doing this reunion thing uh, that Dr. Dre and Ed Lover use. Uh -huh. Of course, from Yo! MTV Raps during the week. And I don't know if this is, these are Ed's or Dr. Dre's shoes or not. You, know? you just borrowed their shoes and you didn't even ask them? Put them right on, boy. They're going to come and they go, Man, something is funky, man, in my shoes, man. Well, I'm over here now talking about my shoes. I'm over here talking about my shoes. That's what they're going to do. Now, they're going to say, It smells like an old DJ. Well, you know, the shoes BJ. are really good because they're not leather. They are cruelty-free. Yeah, and they are hard to shine, too, I'll tell you. Cruelty-free. I'll tell you, somebody else who wears shoes like this oh. comes in our past. Uh, just think of a band that might have worn shoes this big. Big shoes. Big shoes. Big shoe type of guy. David Byrne. David Byrne would have worn big shoes. With his big suit. With a big suit. Yeah, who else? The band is no longer around. They're, I think, having babies, making families. Warren, would you like to go? Trini Lopez? Warren, the cameraman says Trini Lopez, but of course, Warren's not right as usual. <laughs> We're gonna I think to... it's the guys in Madness. Madness! You're going with this. Excellent, yeah. Hey, do the Madness thing. The Madness I was hoping you'd ask. Alan Hunter, ladies and gentlemen, doing... Hey, remember the lead singer's name? No. Suggs. Oh, Suggs, of course. Remember Suggs? Ready? Here's Suggs. Ready? Madness. Our house is the name of the video. In the middle of the street. Our house. Kind of a Pee Wee Herman thing. Da, 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 da. And back. Da, 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 Let's go to the video. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah, here we are, the tail end of the Thanksgiving weekend, and I'm Alan, and this is Martha. Hey, 
Well, yeah, we're the Mickey Mouse Club. Speak for yourself, I think I think we're way overdressed for the morning time. I really do. I mean, I've always thought you dressed very nicely. Very hip, very on the edge, very cool. But at this time of the day, who needs it? I know. I Overalls. wish I had the nerve to come out here like I live my life in my sweatpants. I will tell you, I, this is, you remember when we wished early on in MTV's, uh, in, in MTV's history that we just had jumpsuits that we right. could wear? Colored jumpsuits, one for each day. It we wouldn't have like to worry Catholic about it. Catholic school MTV. Yeah, or Devo. That, <laughs> yeah, those yellow and the flower pots. Yeah, I agree. Well, this is a reunion weekend with Homecoming, and they've brought home to the roost J.J. Jackson, Mark Goodman, Nina Blackwood, Alan They, they didn't Hunter. bring me home to roost. I'm not here to roost. No. Home to the roost, not to roost. Home right, to the roost. He's using it as a noun, Whatever you not said. a verb. Sure. <clears throat> we got that sibling thing going. You want to talk about uh, uh, a party thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, throughout the years here, there were a lot of wild um, contests. We've offered, uh, like, that a boat party with ZZ Top and the house in yeah. Bloomington, Indiana, That's and cool. an island somewhere. Yeah. And it sank. Also... We also gave a winner a chance to have Prince come to her home, and Prince wound up going to Sheridan, Wyoming. What if you threw a party and everybody came? It is my great honor to proclaim this day of July 1st, 1986, as Prince MTV Day. <laughs> I never met such nice people in my life. Okay, what if you threw two parties and everybody came? The party set, you know. It depends on how much liquor they consume, <laughs> how good of a sound, I don't know, something like that. It'll be a fun show. When I got the phone call, I was very excited. I thought it was fake. <laughs> Two contests, one week. Oh, what? You could be next. <laughs> hey, we got a couple of videos from Prince and ZZ Top. We're trying to get a morning show in, in a market mm. like AM Kansas, AM Oklahoma. Whatever. Yeah, AM Generic. AM Generic. The Alan and Martha Show. And now a couple of videos from, hey, Al, why don't you tell them? I just said Prince and ZZ Top. Oh, maybe I should listen to you a little bit more, Alan. No, it wouldn't make for a good show. Maybe if you said something interesting, I would. Who would want to bore people out oh. in America? Hey, you know, uh, I, I want to remind everybody that the whole day is going to be reunion day up until, I don't know, what, 10 p.m. tonight or something? Midnight. Until midnight. Oh, Lord, we're and stretching it out, aren't we? all five of us are going to be together Yeah, later J.J. On. And, and Mark and Nina will be here today. Uh-huh. And, uh, and we're here this morning now. And we're here to tell you nostalgic tales that'll make your eyes go real limp <sighs> and get real heavy. But I'd like to tell that one about Michael Jackson. Okay. And then we got... Uh, I'd like to tell about how I met Michael Jackson. Did you've met Michael, haven't you? Go right ahead, Martha. Well, Michael watches MTV, and he called... I guess it was Les Garland at the time and said... Yes, these are, these are names that America his knows. That's favorite DJ and how he wanted to meet me. And he flew me to his um, estate in California, and I um, hung out with Michael for, like, um, a, a month. Yeah, almost two months. Yeah, me and Michael. Yeah. And um, I, yeah, I fed the llamas. Uh -huh. And then we hung out with Brian Wilson's beach. <laughs> I hate yeah. you. Let's do beat it. Uh, I got to say that I got a few minutes more with you here, and I take off, and then I think the the all five of yeah. us are gonna uh, do some more uh, 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 jolly making today. Mm -hmm. And the reunion, JJ and Nina and Mark, Mark. and yourself and, and me. But I might say Count that people, five. you know, it's not such as fun as it is to be working together, being that we all live in California now, we all have stayed friends. We kind of hang out. It's pretty amazing. People, you know, when people come up to me in the street and they think that after we've gotten past the, oh, you're not my high school friend. Right. You know, it's, or are you Mick Jagger? Both those things come up. They say, yeah, how is yeah, Martha Quinn? And, you know, and do you know her? And I say, yep, she's short. 
<laughs> and there you go. Pass the duchy on this the left. A, this is a great side. video. I, said, I defy you to tell me any more lyrics of that song than that. I don't worry about lyrics uh, for the most part in this particular song. I just like the. <laughs> it's a vibe the, kind of thing. The riff, man. The riff is good. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. All right. Have Alan, a good time, and uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm Martha Quinn, and welcome to the Reunion Weekend. Upcoming videos in the next 60 minutes include Tina Turner. We'll reminisce with a Brian Adams clip and run DMC. And right now, with David Lee Roth reviving a Louis Prima gem. This is Just a Gigolo. A little world premiere video right here on Dave TV. Wake up, Dave. Number one. Hi, I'm Martha Quinn, and this is the Reunion Weekend. Um, now we have something from Tom Petty's solo album, Southern Accents. The video features a cameo by Dave. I'm all distracted. Are you going to come out? Are you going to come out and say hello and chat with me? So now he's under pressure. He has to. I guess I have to. Now you have to. Here, sit <coughs> with me. Hi, good bow. See, now people are going to be wondering why I'm talking into your chest. <coughs> like you don't normally. <laughs> <laughs> It's one, of, one of your strongest attributes. My. <clears throat> I noticed in the in the MTV reunion promo shot, which should be running in a in a paper near you this weekend. Um, cleavage. No, but could I say one thing? There's the contact sheets of all of the shots. You know, boom, 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 one after the other. And there is a shot of me sitting there, and Mark and JJ are literally like going. It's like guys. Well, because I like we started. Your little sister. But when we started out years ago, we used to share a dressing room and kind of missed that stuff. Please don't lead them to believe that you would have any knowledge of. You don't. Well, it's you a vague, don't, just do you? a vague memory. Oi, yay, yay! This is Tom Petty right here. Don't come around here no more, Mark. <laughs> Well, we know it's just Thanksgiving weekend, but come on, Santa was at the Macy's Parade, so we're allowed to haul out the MTV Christmas videos because Christmas, the Christmas holiday has officially started now at the end of Thanksgiving. So we've been looking back, we saw a little while ago, or yesterday, I guess it was, Billy Squire's Christmas is the time to say I love you. And now we have a video that John Anderson came into the MTV studios and did. And the, let's see, what went on with this video? You know, I barely remember. Let's all jog our memories together. Let's take a look at this one. I'm Martha Quinn, and this is our reunion weekend where we're bringing back all the original MTV VJs, the ones that started it all, that created the role. We've got Frankie Goes to Hollywood coming up next. This is a band that... They, uh, they had such a cataclysmic... Well, that's not really the right word. That's like big, mon monstrous, amazing, quick rising. It's Humongous. a good word. Humongous. <laughs> Humongous. Right. Rocketed to the top of the charts with Relax. And it seemed like they were a force to be reckoned with. And then they followed up with Two Tribes, released in England in June of 84. Record went gold in one week. Uh, kind of a not-so-subtle Cold War warning. This is Holly Johnson and Paul Rutherford. Two tribes. Frankie goes to Hollywood. I like Quinn, don't I? Uh, he was, of course, the former lead singer of Generation X. His spiky hair, his trademark sneer, which is kind of calming down a little bit. He's becoming a nicer guy. Well, here he is. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Hey, we're in <laughs> black. We're fashionable. I'm Alan Hunter. This is Martha Quinn. Kind of your home still, but new to me here on this reunion weekend. Hi, Alan. Welcome back. You look so amazingly great. <laughs> you know, oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> oh, Miss Quinn, Miss Quinn, can I get you something to drink? What is that for, Alan? Because I'm back on MTV or because I was so on cool. a series? <laughs> boy, oh, boy, I wish I was on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Boy, I hey, but you weren't in a video like me. Maybe you were in the one little teeny shot in that, uh, that what, what Going video? Going back to Cali. And you were like, you posing, but not me. I was dancing in David Bowie's video, Fashion, which we're going to be showing coming up. Also a little crew, mm -hmm. a little quash. Yep. A and, little what else? And right now we start off with John Cougar. Do we get right into it? Yeah, I think so, because we don't have much time. Here. Okay, right now this is John Cougar. Pink Hoses. Was he Melon Camp at Pink that point? Pink Hoses? Pink no. Houses. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, yeah, howdy. Welcome to the reunion weekend. It's Thanksgiving weekend. People are sort of uh, easing into maybe a couple of football games, but let's not watch football today. Let's, let's watch a little reunion. Let's be nostalgic, why don't we? Okay. Dylan, come here. Speaking of the present, come though, you know, Martha and I, we live, like, here. almost next door to each oh. other out in California. And uh, she's, uh, well, we've, we've birthed a child between us. <laughs> um, you know, my wife I'm is sure a very Jan will be very open-minded person, and she said, what the heck, you worked together for seven years, why not have a baby together? No, but the <laughs> truth of the matter is, hey, Dylan, remember when Mommy had Callie in the hospital? Who took care of you all day? Thank you, There goes my rock and roll image. Had 18 Thank you, kids. Martha. Wait, sh what was that? Mortgage. Say what? You know, and Martha's you working Martha. on the channel again. Can Ellen, you your kids being so cute, and you just said you did, Martha. Yeah. yeah cause Martha I... was a babysitter for us when we had our second child, Callie, who will be coming out Oops. very soon. Okay, I think Dylan wants outfit. to go now. Got to so go in the bathroom. <laughs> and some things are more important than videos in rock and roll. You and let my dog swim in your pool? I did. I did. And, and his hair clogged up my uh, Oki, that's the dog's name clogged up my swimming pool. Of course, that, that, was right fascinating. Next, that was right next to my big jacuzzi and my yeah. big palm tree. And, and the Rolls Royce and the... Yeah, and the limo. Yeah, right in front of Al's and big, huge estate, which you... My home, which I call, call it. Home Sweet Home. It's, a, I'm, it's surprising. People see you on the street, though, and they say, Hi, aren't you Martha Queen? Don't you work on MTV? But weren't you in that video? That's right. Kind of Most I, pe you know. Some people might know me from... MTV, but most people know me from actually my extensive video work. You know, oh, aside from I, that Cindy Brady Crawford and I yeah. uh, go up for a lot of the same parts, except Cindy gets a lot more because Cindy's got that mole, and people seem to like that. I like the mole. <laughs> I really do. See, you're so typical of casting directors. Could be you. I'm just a guy. I'm just a man. What can I say? Are we going to see your video now? Yeah, watch my big part. Don't blink. Watch for it. <laughs> If you were facing the, the television, that was me on the right with the ponies. Yeah, you know, when you with the little fishing cap on, huh? I saw the mole, though. Cat. Hey, you know, I had my day in the sun as far as videos go. Actually, when I was a struggling actor before I got the job here at MTV, uh, I got cast in a, uh, in a David Bowie video. Fifty bucks a day in meals. Two That's days work. Went down to the mud club in, uh, down in the lower part of New York City. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, you don't want to go into the mud club during the day. I mean, at night when you're in a club and, and uh, you know, in the party mood, you don't smell. But in the day, you smell, and that place stinks. It it's rude. like when you're eating Mexican food, and for some strange reason, they turn on the lights, and those refried beans don't look like toasty brown morsels. Oh, they look like right. gray. Gosh, it's fun talking to Mexican food. Ooh, it really is. Bop, Thanksgiving bop, weekend. Fashion. We are the goon squad, and we're coming. Check to them out. Got the big right nose there. and the striped top. It's cool. Not a mole, though. I don't know, Martha, back in 1981 yeah. when we started this whole thing, we kind of knew this was in jeopardy. But it wasn't really in jeopardy, it just took a new form, didn't it? The radio? Mm -hmm. And then videos came in. Video killed the radio star. I just knew you'd video sing that. Video killed the radio I just knew I'd start to salivate. And oh, just, my God. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. Ew. That God, song is never old. Changed. Let's You're move ahead, TV, Martha. Alan, that was almost like ten that. years ago. Let's stop this. There are so many things going on this weekend besides this hilarious banter between we VJs. For example, you could catch a classic concert with the police tonight at 9 o'clock. Al, you did some emceeing for the police. I did. You know, we sponsored the tour when the police went out on the uh -huh. road. And I like got to stand at JFK Stadium in RFK. Philadelphia. Uh, that's right. RFK. Mm -hmm. You always like to correct people, don't you? <laughs> well, there are people in Philadelphia who are laughing at you right now. And uh, I'm I stood saving there in front you of the 70,000 people and introduced the police. It was a pretty awesome moment. So no you know what happened to me at Shea Stadium? I introduced at the Shea police. At Shea Stadium. Shea Stadium. Somebody threw a tennis ball at me. What Did you catch it? happened to me? Did you catch it? Did you hit it back? No, I'm so uncool. I got smacked with a uh, tennis ball. I practically started crying at Shea Stadium. You would because you're a wuss. Anyway, oh. we've got the Synchronicity Tour, the 84 Synchronicity Tour, right? That's the last official police concert that's coming up tonight at 9 p.m. See, somebody's got to get ahead with the business because I watch you sometimes when I'm sitting around. Yeah? I, I watch it, and you ramble. Yeah, well, okay. Where do I see you, Mr. Geo Commercial? Mr. <laughs> Little Commercial with your kids that never ran? Right now, the original version of Don't Stand So Close to Me from the Police. Meadowlark! 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 He's so talented. Uh, rock and roll.
and roll, you know, really, actually, there were some good things done. It's supposed to be socially conscious, isn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, it's not supposed to just babble on like you and I. <laughs> it's supposed to be relevant. Mm -hmm. We'll try to help people out a little That's bit. That's the difference between us and rock and roll. It really is. It you really is. That's why I've, I've distanced myself from the whole mm -hmm. thing, because I don't want to tarnish rock. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, there are some cool things that happened, though, benefit-wise. Big events like Live Aid. Live Aid, grandfather of them all. Of course, yes. originally there was the concert for Bangladesh with George Harrison, yes, but MTV course. wasn't around then. Right, we weren't around then. We do have the film, but uh, there was Amnesty. Yep. There was Here and Aid. Oh, all the heavy metalers. Yep. There was Sport Farm Aid, Aid. Farm Aid. Sport Aid. What else? Us Festival. Fashion Aid. Did we say Us Festival? Fashion Aid. Us Festival wasn't really a benefit. Yeah, I think we should include Fashion Aid. Lemon Aid for the crop of lemons in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we have a little bit of Live Aid coming up right here? As a matter of fact. By now, you've probably heard all the statistics, but here they are one more time. On July 13th, 66 bands performed in front of a total audience of a billion and a half people and raised $80 million to help fight the Ethiopian famine. But numbers aren't everything. The real story of Live Aid might be that if one person pushes hard enough, he can help change the world. Bob phoned me up in January and said, would you do it? And I said, boy, if you can get it together, of course not thinking that he actually would and um, that for me is the main achievement of the day just actually getting this together getting the artists together was a massive undertaking but getting the concert televised live around the world was nothing short of a technological miracle thousands of technicians work behind the scenes in the philadelphia broadcast center to keep the concerts on the air in 150 countries while over a thousand journalists photographers and camera crews from around the world recorded the event that would become instant history in the middle of things, there seemed to be this weird awareness. I mean, uh, I think uh, Mick Brown in the Sunday Times put it best that one had the eerie feeling of cities that opposite ends of the earth waving at each other. And I think that was true. Like, I mean, it sounds terrible corny, you know, but it really was, in a tangible and physical way, the word, the globe was linked. It was a very, very peculiar atmosphere and I haven't seen I haven't experienced it before in my life and I I'm not sure we will again but I would like to Live Aid was a who's who of all the best 1985 had to offer but the concerts also reunited bands from the past like Crosby Stills Nash and Young and the who who hadn't played together since 1982 it ain't time to think about it really we just said we would do it this is the right reason to do what we did Live Aid focused the eyes of the world on the rock and roll community proving for both the artists and the audience that music can be more than just entertainment. Who I gotta get out of here. Open I have no idea. Status I just don't remember quo. that stuff. Of course, of course, I knew that. There's music playing, and that means what? <laughs> that means you know, you, shut you, you up live and here. get out. I'm going. And hey, Alan, it's tomorrow so nice I come to back. have you back. It's great to be here. You know what's great? It's like seeing people like Warren behind the camera, people we worked with years ago. Hi, right, Warren. Shake your head if you, you hear us, everybody. Inside, Beth McCarthy. Milton, oh, a lot, just, of, oh, lot of the old people coming back to see us. <laughs> I like to say vintage VJs instead of old. Okay. Can we do you two now? Okay. Hi, I'm Martha Quinn. Boy, it's been a long time since we've seen each other, huh? I'm an original MTV VJ. It's been at least two days since I've seen you all. Coming up, ZZ Top, your mix, Thomas Dolby, the Stray Cats, and I'm going to start off my vintage VJ reunion shift with Heart These Dreams. Oh, this is a wild time. All of the original MTV VJs have gotten back together. Myself, Mark Goodman, Alan Hunter, J.J. Jackson, and Nina Blackwood. And you know, there's one thing that stayed the same with all of the, us, and I'll be sure to point this out tomorrow to them all. And, I'm still the youngest. Ha! Uh, what can you do? You know, uh, for the holidays, we had a sort of Christmas card. Do they do that anymore? They really don't do that anymore, do they? The MTV Christmas videos. They should. The very first one with Billy Squire came down to the set. And what you'll see here in this video is all of the people from the MTV offices in here. You'll see a, a woman in a Santa suit, and that's this woman named Gail Sparrow. And if you've seen Spinal Tap, she was almost identical to Fleckman, Bobby Fleckman. It was, Gail would always say, hi, hon, hi, hon. And as Allison said, we were talking about this, and she said, oh, I hope Gail's not watching this, because she'll be embarrassed. She was being a wild woman in the video. There's people in this video who now are executives at Fox Television. They're, it's wild in this one. So check it out, and check out how we look. It's so embarrassing if I could put a giant, huge bag 
over my head for this entire video. What kind of haircut? Please, what was I thinking? This is Billy Squire. Christmas is the time to say I love you. Billy Squire, on behalf of myself and everyone here at MTV, I'd like to wish you all a happy holiday season and a terrific new year. Well, probably my most embarrassing moment that happened during my career here at MTV luckily didn't happen on camera. I was warming up the crowd at Radio City Music Hall for the very first MTV Video Music Awards. And I finished my speech as I was looking down at music industry heavyweights like Quincy Jones and Diana Ross and David Lee Roth. And I finished my speech and I said, welcome, the first annual MTV Video Music Awards. And I turn and I walk off. And I trip and I fall flat on my face in front of 6,000 people filled Radio City Music Hall. I'm Martha Quinn. Welcome back to the reunion weekend. All the original MTV VJs are here all weekend long. Myself, Alan Hunter, Nina Blackwood, J.J. Jackson, and Mark Goodman. When we think about the early days, we think about bands who grew up with us, like Duran Duran, the Human League. And in the Rockabilly area, there was, of course, the Stray Cats. Now, here is Brian Setzer telling us how the Stray Cats were quite influenced by Carl Perkins, Elvis, and most especially... Eddie Cochran. He's like, you know, one of the original rockers that we base ourselves yeah. sort of loosely around the image. And, uh, you know, he just sang songs that made sense to us. Summertime blues, you got to work all summer. We used to have to work all summer. You know, stuff like that. She sure fine looking for something else. You know, that's what it's all about. And it's just good rock and roll that everybody, including, you know, the Rolling Stones to uh, the Clash, based themselves on 50s rock and roll. You know. It's just the basis of it all. So we thought we'd go back to the beginning and do it the way they did, basically, and just, you know, write new lyrics, write contemporary lyrics. Because, like, high school hops don't really happen anymore. So we, you know, write about Rock This Town, about going into a bar and only hearing disco on the jukebox and getting really mad instead of hearing rock and roll. You know, you got to go hear disco and then we can, you can so hear those Long Island accents, can't you? And now, think of it, Slim Jim Phantom is married to Britt Eklund and they have a, a healthy, about two, two and a half year old little boy. What's that kid's name, Mark? Do you know? I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember that little boy's name. And um, Rocker's dad and so is Brian. They're all fathers now. Everyone's a parent now, except me. This is the Stray Cats, Rock This Town. I'm Martha Quinn. This is the reunion weekend. Isn't it good to see everyone in just a little bit? The piece de resistance of original VJs is coming out. The great, the one and only, triple J.J. Jackson will be gracing our stage in just moments. Yeah. Meanwhile, thinking about bands from the early 80s. Hey, you know what? I saw Journey in concert, and it was a very disturbing thing, because I saw them at the Meadowlands. And somebody threw a beer bottle up on stage, and they had one of those big video monitors. And there was a close-up of Neil Sean, and he was just gushing blood. And I was, I was like, who would do that? That's a sick thing. This is a band that broke up about three years ago. And since then, Neil and Jonathan Cain went on to form Bad English with John Waite and Steve Perry.